You asked how the Grail purifier cartridge actually works? I'm glad you asked. Thor raises his hammer high to the heavens, charging it with electricity, slamming the ground with lightning, transferring the energy to the Hulk cage, keeping you safe from all the evil in this galaxy. Not even Loki can escape this cage. I know that's not exactly how it works, Travis, but that's how you explain it to a child like me. What's up, FGFers? No, that is not exactly how it works. In fact, it doesn't work that way at all. But I wanted to take the time to try to explain it to you in a way that you could actually understand. I know I hate it when I go to a class and somebody tries to, you know, talk over my head and make me feel small. Making them feel bigger? That ain't helping nobody but the person that's actually doing the talking. So let's break it down. Remember about five years ago when everybody was uh, wearing the masks? Of course you do. Now, if you were wearing the mask properly and not below your nose or holding it out from your mouth while you spoke, it would filter out stuff larger than 0.3 microns. Now, some things that are smaller than 0.3 microns are like uh, viruses. They go as low as 0.005 microns, and then they get as large as 0.3 microns. Now, somebody out there could do the math, but what I'm telling you is that if the size of the hole is equal to the size of the thing you're trying to keep out, it, it slips through, rendering the filter useless. Now this size exclusion, it actually transfers over to water filters as well. Like the membrane filters, you know, hollow fiber, carbon block filters. So you have a tiny hole and then you have the thing you're trying to keep out of it, right? It only works if the hole is smaller than the thing you're trying to keep out. Now there's pros and cons to everything. Size exclusion filters aren't necessarily bad, but they do have some cons. Number one is flow rate. You have these little bitty tiny holes and you're trying to force the water through it and contain the particulates and the pathogens that you're trying to eliminate. Now there are size exclusion filters out there that actually work like the MSR Guardian, for example. However, the flow rate is slow, they're pretty heavy, and they're really expensive, like $400 expensive. The common problem with filters like we're discussing here is they typically don't keep out viruses and that's how they keep the flow rate up a little higher. Now, Grail doesn't depend on pore size to purify. And you do understand there's a difference between filtering and purifying. The things that we wanna keep out are bacteria, protozoa, you know, viruses, nanoplastics, heavy metals, chemicals. And we also wanna improve the taste, right? Well, Grail does all of that for you with science. Science! Grail's GeoPress doesn't rely on size exclusion, the size of the pores. In fact, GeoPress Tech actually utilizes a one micron pore size. This is how they get their incredible flow rate. The question is, what happens as it goes through the pores? Well, the pores are actually surrounded by a three-dimensional matrix of positively charged particles. These positively charged particles, they actually act as like these tiny magnets for all the impurities. So the magnets actually use ion exchange and electroadhesion to bond all of the impurities as they pass through. But wait, there's more. So the combination of the ion exchange, the electroadhesion, the ultra powdered activated charcoal, they work together to get rid of chemicals and heavy metals and plastics and all the things that you don't want. And the viruses, the things that typically slip through the standard filters. So with the big pores, you get big flow. The ion exchange is for the bacteria, the protozoa, and the viruses. And the activated carbon is for things like heavy metals, chemicals, and plastics. And did I mention that it improves the taste? Now, a lot of people, they argue with me and they say, well, Jay, in my area, I don't have to worry about a lot of that. I'm in the mountains, I'm drinking from a mountain spring, whatever it is. And I always say, yeah, that's fine if you understand exactly what you're doing and what you're trying to filter out. But a lot of people, honestly, they don't. And I always point out, why take the chance when you don't have to? And I'm the kind of guy, I wanna drink water anywhere. And I'm the kind of guy that just wants to be prepared for as many emergencies as I possibly can be prepared for. And with my grails, I don't have to. Now, the enemy of just about any filter or purifier is gonna be like tannins, you know, like ponds, lakes, swamps. I mean, it just makes sense that they're gonna clog up the filter faster, right? Now to extend the life of my grail, I use this pre-filter sometimes. It just really depends on the water source that I'm trying to get water from. Now you don't have to have one of these canvas pre-filters from Campcraft Outdoors, but I highly suggest you get one. You could use a bandana or a shemog, uh, even a sock, but leave the dirty underwear alone. 
Typically when I'm trying to source my water, I try to go to, you know, something that's moving pretty good. And remember, just because it's clear doesn't mean it's safe, but it is one of the things that I look for when I'm trying to get my water. Come on, I'm gonna show you how this works. Now that we have the inner sleeve and the cup separated, we can go ahead and gather some water. And there's actually a line right here that shows you where to fill it up to. Now that you have your water, find some firm ground for it to sit on, go ahead and unscrew the cap and then place the inner sleeve into the cup, just like that. Now here's where most people mess up. It's the way that they actually do this. You'll notice these like topo lines right here. Go ahead and put your thumbs right there and just press down. Make sure that you're right on top of it. You don't have to give it a lot of force. Just let the bottle do the work for you. Now the reason we unscrewed the cap is so that there's a vent to make sure that the air can escape while we purify our water. Now, if the press time is over 25 seconds, then it's time to change the filter. Oh, I'm sorry. I misspoke at it again. Bad inclination. It's a purifier cartridge. It's not a filter. It's a purifier. And by the way, these things will freeze like three times before you have to change the purifier cartridge. And in my case, it's time to drink some fresh water. Mmm. Yep. It works. You know, something I hate in survival is waiting for your water to cool down after you've purified it. God, this is so much better. Another thing I hate is the taste that comes from chemical treatment, you know? And I'm just gonna be honest. I hate waiting for my water. When I'm thirsty, I wanna drink. One thing that I love about the titanium grill is let's say the filter does fail for some reason, I can always boil the water and so I have a redundant backup with me at all times. Now, a lot of people have expressed concern that when they apply heat to the cup, it's gonna warp it and then they won't be able to use their GeoPress anymore. That would be true if you applied it to heat and you didn't actually have water in the cup. I've been testing for over a year now and my grail is still working perfectly fine. Now, back in the old days, I used to have, you know, just the OG GeoPress, the plastic version, and then I had a stainless steel cup and the GeoPress would actually nest inside of that cup. So if you're really worried about it, there's something that you could do that might actually save you a little bit of cash too. Oh, uh, it's starting to pour rain now, which means it's time for me to head to the house. So if you're a honey smack dig in the video, like, share, subscribe. Hey, hype the video for me. Leave a snide remark in the comment section. And until next time, y'all, keep fueling those fires. The world is getting more dangerous and unpredictable every day. Your family's safety depends on how prepared you are. For just $7.99 a month or $74.99 a year with two and a half months free, Survival Dispatch Guardian membership gives you powerful tools and resources to stay ready. When you join, you're automatically enrolled in the Survival Dispatch Emergency Notification System and you'll get critical alerts fast. You'll also get an invite to our private high traffic signal chat where members and experts share breaking intel. Guardians receive all 37 of our Survival Dispatch Insider e-magazines, normally $9.99 each, a $370 value, plus early access to our exclusive instructional videos before they go public. Join thousands of like-minded Americans who refuse to be caught off guard. Become a Survival Dispatch Guardian today at www.survivaldispatch.news slash subscribe.